Myra's in now with sports. Very excited to see baseball returning to the capital. Very excited. I'm very excited about this announcement too, Andrew. Things are moving right along at Royal Athletic Park in Victoria as Victoria gets set to welcome baseball back to the capital. And then yet to be named Victoria Baseball Club now has an active website, a Twitter handle, and a general manager. And ownership felt that the best man for the GM's position is a woman. 29-year-old Holly Jones is Victoria's first lady of baseball. Our goal is not to simply bring uh, baseball to Victoria, but to build a team with the community that everyone on Vancouver Island can be proud of. She may not be the first female to be named general manager in the West Coast Baseball League. I would be the second by about four days. Bree Kirkfleet uh, down in Corvallis was actually just promoted from assistant general manager to general manager. Does she have her own baseball card? She does not have her own baseball card, so I do beat her there. <laughs> Holly Jones is the first card-carrying member of the new Victoria Baseball Club and a total team player. I miss uh, not working for a team. You know, if you work for a brand or you work for a league, you're kind of rooting for overall sales and views and merchandise. But if you work for a team, like every night you live and you die by how that team performs on the field. And it's just a different feel with the community and you feel like you really build and own something. So I couldn't be more excited about being a part of the team environment again. Jones has been a sports fan her entire life. She grew up in Eugene, Oregon, cheering for the Oregon Ducks. You are a Ducks girl? <laughs> oh, uh, through and through and through. She graduated from the University of Oregon with a degree in journalism and business administration and has worn many hats in her impressive career. Holly has spent the past four years in New York City where she held marketing positions with JetBlue Airways and the NBA. Her return to the West Coast also marks her return to the West Coast League. Jones is the former assistant general manager of the Corvallis Knights and helped build that franchise into one of the most successful in the league. When I got a call from the uh, the general manager of the uh, Corvallis Knights team and he contacted me and he said, hey, listen, I know uh, this person who was my assistant general manager for three years. Victoria, I think, would be a great place for her. She has family in Victoria um, and she wants to, to, to get back and get back into baseball. I felt like it was almost too good to be true. I'm very glad that I was able to help when the Knights moved from Gresham down to Corvallis. And so I kind of have gone through it once before in terms of understanding what our priorities and what you have to do the right way. So we have a lot to do in the next few months, but I'm very optimistic that we'll get it done and we'll have a fantastic product on the field in June. And the number one thing on Jones' to-do list is connect with the community and get Victorians excited about the West Coast brand of baseball. A good handful of the guys who were on the team when I worked there from 2005 to 2007 are now in the major league. So these are guys on their way up. Uh, so it's exciting to kind of get to know them and have them be part of the community so for the fans can uh, can build those relationships and watch them grow. For uh, the rest of the promotional schedule and the marketing, it's absolutely going to be something that's fast paced, that's fun, that's family focused. Um, there's never going to be a dull moment. Cleveland, the starters have been... Well, Holly Jones, big Seattle Mariners fan as well and really likes Victoria's Michael Saunders. And how can you blame her? The man is swinging the hot bat for the M's. A wrecking ball at the plate last night against the Indians. Third inning, he takes Ubaldo Jimenez deep to center for his 12th jack of the season. Then in the seventh, he breaks a 3-3 tie with this shot to right. Saunders also homered Sunday. 13 home runs is a career high. Mariners have won six straight in 13 of their past 14 games at Safeco. It's the best record over a stretch of 14 games in the club's 36-year history. Well, soccer is already one of the most popular sports played by Canadian women. And with the recent success of our national women's soccer team at the Olympics, one can only imagine the new generation of little Christine Sinclairs that will be inspired to take up the sport. The girls captured the hearts of the Canadians with their bronze medal performance in London. And when our country hosts the Women's World Cup in 2015, we may be cheering on one of Victoria's own. Kobe, Japan, the site of the U-20 Women's World Cup. Canada opened the tournament with a convincing 6-0 victory over Argentina. Now, forgive the game's announcer. That is not Danica Wu scoring the game's second goal. It is UVic striker Jacqueline Sawicki. She places the ball beautifully under the crossbar. It was a great game for Sawicki, who also proved to be the game's premier playmaker, setting up two of Adriana Leon's three goals. Canada gets that all-important first win in group play. Next up is Norway. Just that game on goes on State Thursday. Down, Ryder Hedgedahl's racing season is wrapping up. The final stops on the Giro's Italia champs calendar are two Grand Prix events in September and they won't be easy. Cadell Evans, Thomas Veckler and Peter Sagan are three of the top names that will battle Ryder in the UCI World Tour events in Quebec City and Montreal. Those are set for September 7th and 9th respectively. 
training camp has just started, but the Nanaimo Clippers have hit the ground running, jumping and lifting. Camp starts with a fitness test to separate the workhorses from the off-season slackers. And thankfully for coach Mike Vanekamp, though, the players showed up in great shape, and why wouldn't they? The Clippers are hosting the inaugural Western Canada Cup this year, giving them a golden opportunity to compete for a national championship. You know, I get just as excited about uh, training camp as I ever have, and this is my 18th uh, year, so um, I'm really excited to be here today, and, and we got a great group of guys here, so it's a fun time. Yeah, I know, it's good to be back, and uh, you know, a good way to kind of kick things off and see what guys trained this summer and see what guys didn't. So uh, it's nice to stuff like this reveals who, who really worked hard in the off season. So it's good. A lot of it's natural ability, I think, too. Some guys are really good at running. Some guys are really good at bench press. So what's the toughest? Um, the six kilometer round at the end for okay. sure. Well, more with the Nanaimo Clippers coming up during Vancouver Island Report. What do you think of the woman hire? I mean, it shouldn't even uh, be an issue. It's a breath of fresh air. It's very nice. unusual. Look is it very it. unusual? It, well, it is you unusual. It There's not very many. And then look at Augusta. So women, sisters doing it for themselves. The team looks like fun. Yeah, it's going to be great. Thanks, Myra. You're welcome.